welcome back to the channel. How's everyone doing? Are you doing well? It's Tony again, Master of the 80s. Um, a little while back, I did a live stream where I looked at the a HMV premium collection titles uh, that were sat at, at, at the side of me. I think that was about, that was over 12 months ago since, since I'd done that video. <clears throat> so I thought, well, all those was done on one live stream. Um, and it didn't really break it down and probably a lot of people have not seen that video It's been lost through the uh, through the thing of my channel though. It's, it's, it's way further down in my video So I thought well, what if I break these videos down? Um, take five titles at a time. We have a look at them a little bit more in depth um, See why I like these films see what you get with these films uh, And yeah, do it that way. I mean, I know there's, there's a lot of videos out there um for the hmv premium collection um this is not really showcasing anything new this isn't really showing you anything that's new that's coming out because to be fair um these have been really thin on the ground recently i mean i can't remember the last time the hmv actually released one of these and i would imagine at this point now it may have been a discontinued line um there really is no nothing there's no news on the horizon they've not mentioned any titles for a long while um if you're in the US, a lot of this stuff that comes through the HMV Premium Collection can be picked up on the Warner Brother Archive or the Paramount Presents line. Um, I think all these titles are, are within those, those two uh, those two companies. Um, so there's nothing really new here. You know what I mean? You might get some art. You definitely get the slip box. Um, there's art cards and there's a few other things. But what HMV did for the for the period of time that they did these. They're, they're a nice addition to the collection. They look good. The, the, you get decent value for money on them. Uh, when it becomes sale time on these, it's normally two for 15 pounds. Um, and there is titles in there that, that suit and cater for everyone's tastes and needs. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here that I never pick up. They did a hell of a lot of film noir, which I have no interest in. They did a hell of a lot of um, Westerns which I have, I have no interest in, um, you know what I mean? But, but then again, they did a hell of a lot of, of old cult classics, 70s and 80s, early 90s stuff within this range, which I loved. Um, so there, there is something within this range for absolutely everyone. And I thought, we'll sit back, we'll have a look at what's in my collection. Uh, I'll do five titles at a time, so I'm not dragging these videos out forever more. Uh, and we'll go from there with it. Um, <clears throat> so we'll have a look at, I mean, Again, if, if you're into collecting and you're a completionist, which I'm, I'm not, um, these are numbered um, on the spine. So this being number one. Um, so again, if you want the collection, you, you can follow on with the numbers so you know what you're missing. Um, but again, that's, that's not the way I collect. It's, 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 it's pointless to me doing things like that. I'd, I'd end up with a load of films that I don't like, don't want, just taking up space. Um, so what I've got here are the films that I see fit to have in my collection, the films that I like, the films that I love. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a couple of titles missing, obviously next when the next sale comes around, I will I will pick some up. Uh, there's a couple of rare Harry Housen titles that, that, that I've not got in here. Um, uh, Beast from 20,000 Fathoms I haven't got. Uh, and the Valley of Guanje I've, I've not got either. So when they come back on uh, on the 2 for 15, uh, they'll, they'll be definitely two titles I pick up. Uh, another one recently that I always thought it was a different film to what it was. Uh, it's a film called Time After Time. Um, I only recent really re realized recently after after watching it that it was the film that it was. I always thought it was something completely different. That's on this line, so I'm going to have to pick that up. Um, that, that's a, a pretty decent film. But all in all, up to now, what I've got sat here are the, are the titles that I want out of what HMV have, have released up to now. Um, so number one is them. Um, a great creature feature. Um, looks phenomenally good in black and white. This um, the restoration that um, that was done on this looks looks really really good. I'm not 100% sure who this one is actually. Um, it's a Warner Brothers film, so I would imagine it would be on the Warner Brothers archive. Um, yeah, a 50s sort of creature feature sci-fi film about some um, irradiated ants that uh, grow to mutant kind of size and, and start devouring people of a small town. Uh, fantastic film if you've never seen it. 
the sound effects on this are, are superb and um, the actual visuals of the ants the actual models and and animatronics and costumes everything they use for the ants in this is is, is really really good for the time um, I, I'm a sucker for anything like this anyway uh, but them really stands out as a, as a good one um, that's the back uh, there are great deals in special features on this there's a behind the scenes archive footage montage of the design of the operation of the giant ants um, so those slip boxes that you do get with the, with the premium collection line um, to the disc always in a clear case these the cases vary as, as they go down the line they start off with this kind of case then they then they turn up a bit later down the line in in the criterion style case that's got no letterhead up here and the, and the artwork runs all the way to the top so they have they have mixed things up over time uh and you'll take notes of that as we're going through but these ones this uh, uh them uh is a blu-ray dvd and digital download in this particular one so again the artwork's exactly the same as the slip internally on some of them you will get art on, on this one there isn't obviously blu-ray that size dvd that size uh this particular one um obviously the uh the download code i mean that one's probably not valid anymore that that download code and obviously in this particular pack there is art cards these are sealed uh the gen generally four to five art cards in these and the, the postcard size um but the artworks generally got on the, the sort of high resolution pictures um but them yeah if you've, if you've never seen it you need to sort of black and white 50s creature feature sci-fi kind of stuff check it out it's uh it, it's one of the better ones so that was number one in the range number two in the range is forbidden planet um i was weaned on this film um i i love this film it's, it's one of the best sci-fi films ever made um it's loads of fun it's a young Leslie Nielsen in this. Um, I was weaned on this film through the CD format. My family owned a CD player when I was when I was a lot younger. Uh, and one of the titles they had uh, for the machine was was Forbidden Planet. That that was my first introduction to this film. And I watched it every Saturday around my grandparents' house. Um, amazing film, amazing visuals, amazing sound effects. Um, good storyline. Great sci-fi film if you're into this kind of stuff. It looks phenomenal on Blu-ray. Uh, I mean, that artwork alone on the front says it says it all for me with, with Robbie the Robot on there. Um, but again, uh, this one was Blu-ray, DVD, and digital download. Again, artwork's exactly the same as the slip box. Um, digital download. Art cards, which again, I haven't opened. But again, that that uh, that uh, look on that is, is phenomenal. Blu-ray DVD in there again, no work. We'll come back of that one, and you you will change, you will see these change as we as we start having a look at them. Um, why they decided to change things at certain points of time, I'm I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, well, special features on this one. Uh, there's there's a few bits on here. Um, there's deleted scenes and lost footage. Uh, there's Two follow-up vehicles starring Robert the Robot, uh, feature film The Invisible Boy, a, the Thin Man TV series episode uh, from Robot Chicken, uh, the TCM original documentary Watch the Skies, science in fiction, the 1950s and us, two featurettes, amazing, um, exploring the fur reach of Forbidden Planet, Robert the Robot, engineering and sci-fi icon, um, and experts from MGM Parade TV series. Um, so that's a nice little release um, and again if you've never seen this film and you are a sci-fi sci uh, fan uh, check it out it, 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 honestly you, you will absolutely love it, it, it it's great um, so that, that was number two in the range uh, number three in the range real real favourite of mine now uh, number three and that is The Omega Man Charlton Heston um, brilliant film an adaptation of the last man on earth and um, then there was a film last man on earth with vincent price uh, that got the black and white treatment back in the day then got colorized uh, and then this came out uh, in the 70s 
and then Will Smith did I Am Legend, but all based off the same story, um, all based around the same sort of character um, from The Last Man on Earth. Uh, but this, in my in my opinion, is the, is the best of the lot. Chalkness is really good in this. Um, that's the back of the slip. Again, uh, it's exactly the same on the box. Digital downloads, the the, the art cards, again, not opened. Blu-ray, DVD. Um, again, it, you know what I mean? It, whether this holds up to, to a, a, a younger set of eyes, to a more modern audience, I, I don't really know. You know what I mean? Yeah, you maybe have to be a bit of a Charlton Neston fan to, to, to appreciate this one. Um, but I truly love it. This one sort of uh, reminds me of, of late night TV in the UK. Uh, certain channels, uh, for sort of Thursday nights, Friday nights, Saturday nights, Sunday nights in the UK would show old cult classic films and this one was, was, was always on that. Um, it was a, a big nostalgia thing for me back, back in the early 80s mid 80s, um, early 90s, uh, watching this one, a Mega Man, Charlton Eston. That was number three. Uh, another Charlton Eston film, this is number four in the line. Um, not as good as the Mega Man, but still entertaining if you're a sci-fi head. Uh, that's Soylent Green. Um, again, if you never checked this one out, um, it, it, it's definitely worth a watch. A bit post-apocalyptic, um, Charlton Heston, um, in this one, he, he starts off as like a government agent and then sort of like turns a bit of a rebel into it. Um, if you know the, the end of the film, I won't spoil it because it will spoil it if I tell you. Uh, the end of the film flips everything on its head and it, it's really good. You sort of know where it's going throughout the film, but the end of it is, is, is really good and it, it just stops. It finishes. There's no dramatic ending. He finds out and boom, finished, off, gone. I, I thought the ending to it was, was great. Um, again, this one, everything that's in it, digital downloads and all that, uh, cards, again, which I haven't opened, Blu-ray and DVD. Um, there are quite a few Charlton Eston films within this, uh, within the, the, the premium collection. Um, well, well Soylent Green was up there with a, an, another favourite of mine. Um, special features on this one. Uh, a commentary um, with uh, Richard Fleischer uh, and Lee Taylor Young. Um, a look of the world of Soylent Green. An MGM's tribute to Edward G. Robinson, the 101 films list. Um, so again, another nice release, another good film, looks really good. Um, and again, if you've never checked it out, and if you're, if you're into sort of like post-apocalyptic sci-fi kind of thing, then you can't really go on with it. That's, uh, what was that one? Number four, that one. So the last one for this this uh, this episode, um, another one of my favorites, another good, a, a great sci-fi film, Logan's Run. Um, again, ba based off a, a, another story, another adaptation. Um, a really, really interesting film um, about growing old and your, your time being up and what they did with you once, once your time was up. Uh, a nice release, again, if you're, if you're sort of like old school sci-fi like I am, this kind of stuff is, is bread and butter, Blu-ray, DVD for it. Um, and again, a ni they're, a, they're a nice way to own them. Um, I didn't show the art cards, and I mean, art cards again. I've not opened them. Um, I mean, there's some special features on this one. There's a commentary with Michael York, uh, and from the director and costume designer, and then there's a vintage featurette, a look into the 23rd century. Um, well, that's Logan's run. That was number f number six. That one, number six in the line. Uh, and again, the artwork on these is always always really good as well. As um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, if you like it, there'll be more coming. Uh, I'll go through the entire range of what I've got, uh, the entire uh, uh, collection of what I've got in the range. Um, so yeah, come back.
Take care. See you all soon.